have a concrete idea of how the universe unfolded from an original singularity 13.8 billion years ago, and how the first stars, galaxies, and black holes were formed. But what actually happened before the Big Bang? Well, Stephen Hawking answered this question with a decisive nothing. After all, time also only began with the birth of the cosmos. However, some researchers have a slightly different conviction in this regard. Because in truth, the Big Bang was by no means the beginning of everything, but merely one of countless Big Bangs that are still occurring to this day. Conversely, this also means that our universe by no means embodies the big picture, but merely a tiny link in an infinite chain of universes. But is there any real evidence that makes this assumption more than just an exciting theory? Yeah, there actually is. The James Webb Telescope has recently recorded a discovery that suggests the almost unbelievable conclusion that our world is currently merging with other universes. When astronomers in the 1920s began to study distant galaxies, they came across something quite unexpected. They realized that most galaxies were moving away from us. In fact, this new finding even fueled speculation that our Earth could ultimately be at the center of the universe but the experts were soon the wiser. Further observations prove that, on balance, not all structures are involved in this galactic mass exodus. And in truth, our Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy are actually moving towards each other to merge in just over 3 billion years, according to our current state of knowledge. Around 100 years ago, however, the journey of the galaxies initially seemed like an unsolvable mystery. But several decades and many detailed investigations later, experts finally discovered the true reasons behind the strange galaxy movements. We now know that, strictly speaking, it's not the galaxies that are moving through space. No, it's space itself that is constantly expanding. However, the expansion of the cosmos is not quite as simple as it might seem at first glance, because it has no central starting point. Conversely, this means that everywhere in the universe, it appears as if the other entities are moving away from you. Regardless of which observation point you were to take, it would always appear as if you were at the center of the universe, from which all other structures were fleeing. In the same breath, however, this finding also provided another, not entirely insignificant piece of information. The universe itself does not have a fixed center, and in simple terms, everything is moving away from everything else as a result of cosmic expansion. But that's not all. Scientists have discovered that space is not only expanding, but that the rate of expansion is actually increasing. In other words, the further away a galaxy is from us, the faster it is moving away from us. In fact, Recent studies have shown that 97% of galaxies in the observable universe are actually moving away from us at faster than light speed. But how is this even possible? Doesn't this stand in stark contradiction to Einstein's theory, which states that nothing is faster than light? Well, not really. In fact, Einstein's theory only applies in empty space itself. However, as the galaxies in reality are at rest in space and their movement is based on the expansion of space itself, as mentioned above, no cosmic speed limit is broken here. Incidentally, it was even Einstein himself who recognized that such a faster than light speed is possible within the limits of space. The confusing background to the Big Bang Astronomers generally assume that cosmic expansion began with the Big Bang. This is hardly surprising, as space was formed together with matter and time from an original singularity. And how could something that did not yet exist have expanded beforehand? As the often cited beginning of everything, we often imagine the Big Bang as a brute event in which the cosmos literally exploded into existence. According to this, the origin of everything that once existed exists today and will exist in the future lay dormant 13.8 billion years ago in an unimaginably hot, dense point. Now, one could imagine the corresponding singularity as a tiny dot in the proverbial void. But how does this fit in with the assumption that the universe is infinite? In this regard, some experts point out that the cosmos must have always been infinite, even if it is today. Or to put it another way, the Big Bang did not happen at a specific point, but everywhere. This also means that the first galaxies did not form in a specific region of space, but everywhere in the universe. 
In the same breath, it appears that matter also appeared everywhere in the cosmos at a certain point in time. Despite all this, the common picture of the Big Bang still leaves some crucial pictures unanswered. After all, what actually caused something to suddenly appear out of nothing 13.8 billion years ago? How can something come out of nothing at all? And was there a trigger, or was it pure coincidence? Well, we simply don't know the clear answers to these profound questions, and they have always been hotly debated among experts. The bottom line is that the Big Bang theory alone is not capable of explaining all the characteristics of the universe that we can observe today. These include, for example, the isotropy of the universe, or in other words, the fact that it always presents itself to the observer in the same way, regardless of the observer's direction of observation in space. And this is where cosmic inflation finally comes into play. This is a phase of extremely rapid expansion of the universe, which is thought to have immediately followed the Big Bang. In the course of this, the universe transformed from something tiny into something significantly larger in less than a trillionth of a second. But what was the engine that drove this elemental process? Well, researchers point to a mysterious force that is still said to be driving the accelerated expansion of the universe and whose background is largely unexplained. Dark energy. Webb's mysterious discovery fuels an incredible theory. At this point, however, it should be noted that although dark energy and the associated fields are a possible cause of the ignition of cosmic inflation, we do not know whether there really is a connection between the dark energy of that time and the dark energy of today. As mentioned, however, dark energy is considered in current space research to be the driving force behind the accelerated expansion of the universe. However, although this mysterious form of energy has had a firm place in the world of astronomical research for over 25 years, its actual existence has still not been proven experimentally. Against this background, some scientists believe it is conceivable that it's not actually dark energy that is driving the accelerated cosmic expansion, but something that we otherwise only know from crazy science fiction films. Unbelievable but true. A study published on December 12, 2023, in the Journal of Cosmology and Astroparticle Physics, actually concludes that what our instruments perceive as the expansion of the universe could actually be the result of universe mergers. In order to understand the background to this unconventional assumption, however, we first need to take a brief detour into the world of the Hubble constant. Basically, it indicates how fast the universe is currently expanding but unfortunately, it also embodies a gigantic puzzle in the same breath. Because if we determine the Hubble constant on the basis of cosmic background radiation, we obtain a value of 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec. However, as soon as the experts take supernovae, red giants, gravitational lenses, and variable stars, so-called Cepheids, into account, the Hubble constant is suddenly 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec. In other words, the universe is expanding much faster than it should be. But how can that be? After all, according to our theories, space should be expanding at the same rate everywhere. Well, one possible explanation is that the measurement results of the past were clouded by errors and inaccuracies. And to find out whether this is really the case, the James Webb Telescope recently took a close look at 320 Cepheids and delivered the sobering but clear finding that the previously observed deviations are in line with reality. So, the discrepancy of the Hubble constant is real, but how can it be explained? Well, Adam Rees, Nobel laureate in physics and lead author of the study, says that we may have misunderstood the universe. In other words, there could be forces and processes out there that we have simply not taken into account in the standard cosmological model. This could be an exotic form of dark matter or dark energy, for example, but it could be even more groundbreaking. Has our universe been swallowed up by another? Jan Ambjorn from the University of Copenhagen believes it's more advisable to leave dark energy behind when it comes to the Hubble discrepancy, and instead consider the possibility that our world is currently merging with other universes. And not just since yesterday, the real reason for cosmological inflation is said to have been that our young cosmos was once swallowed up by a larger parent universe. And since then, 
our universe has been doing the same to its mother world. Because after it was absorbed, it collided with other baby universes in order to ultimately absorb them too. But how do you even come up with such an idea? Well, by working out a mathematical model that examines the effects that several interacting universes could have on our cosmos. The experts' calculations showed that the merging of worlds would increase the volume of our universe, an increase in volume that our measuring instruments in turn interpret as an expansion of the universe. But that's not all. At the same time, researchers also determine the rate of expansion of the universe that would be expected in such a scenario. And in fact, the corresponding results agreed even better with the observations of space than the traditional standard cosmological model. But even the most breathtaking theory can only be confirmed by real observational data. But how do you observe a different cosmos in the first place? Well, not at all. In order to test the hypothesis of the merger of the universes, experts are currently conducting numerous experiments to investigate the microwave background. This radiation relic from the time shortly after the Big Bang could therefore have some unknown characteristics that may one day bridge the gap to other worlds. And if you want to build a bridge to our videos on a regular basis, you should definitely click on the thumbs up and the subscribe button now. Join our community and stay up to date from now on. We'll see you soon.